you really liked my 10 hard jumps in CSGO, but since many of you, including myself, can't do the hard jumps, this video will be about 10 easy jumps in CSGO. So when I showed you the hard jumps, the actual jumping part was done by my buddy Blastfa, because I just couldn't do those jumps myself. These jumps really needed some amazing strafing skills. But today I will be jumping myself and it also means these jumps are easy enough for everyone to nail it. You don't need to worry about successfully landing them, because if I can do it, then most of you can do it. Let's begin with an uncommon idea on the cache next to connector. I will show you the jump right away. Boom. You could also be hop tick up, but I prefer to do a couple of steps and then casual long jump. You need to do some successful strafes, but it isn't that hard. As you can see, it's not the most useful position out here, but in the actionful moments, it may help you in certain situations to achieve a cool off angle. After making the first contact, you could always fall behind the box and play it from there. Try it out. Next up, in my opinion, still very effective position that gets rarely checked and it goes like this. You can either jump from the stairs or do the strafe jump from the top of the connector. Both ways work fine. It's fairly easy to pull it off. Definitely 100% consistent jump if you know the basics how to jump and strafe. If you are in the position, just make sure your teammates cover the party area. Because this position is kinda prone to any aggression from the top of the connector. So just make sure your teammates know where you are and enemies can't surprise you from the top. Super general. Train a bombsite. If connector is smoked off or you just want to climb a little, you can do this jump. It's not hard at all, but could be pretty useful in certain scenarios. For example, you could surprise guys camping in the common corner or just stay on the roof to achieve a great off angle towards the middle of connector. Easy as that. Again, overpass, probably the easiest jump of this list, but I wanted to add this because some people miss this shortcut or aren't willing to try it. So jump goes like this. If you jump off from this plateau accurately enough, you don't need to do any strafes. But if you want to be sure, just make one or more strafes and you will nicely fly over this gap. It's good to use this shortcut in the beginning of the round when you want to quickly peek monster from here like this or it could be useful in the after plant situations. Be creative. Digash a bombsite. This squeaky door has multiple functions. You probably know you could self boost yourself to a sprout position like this. You could even close the door yourself. It's very easy, just make sure you have time to do that and no one could catch you off guard. But mainly I added this jump because you could create a cool off angle I have rarely seen in use. Do not go to a usual boost spot position, but stay in this lamp. People coming out from squeaky won't see you and you have created a cool angle towards a main and highway. Most likely you will surprise the enemy and hopefully you get a nice and easy frag. Alright Inferno T-Spawn. True followers have probably seen it in one of my previous videos, but it's still not very well known, so here it is. Easy strafe jump on the edge here. Great place to save your weapon for example, otherwise you shouldn't waste your time here in casual rounds. But as you can see for saving it's a great off angle and you 100% must try it if the situation requires you to fall back into T-spawn. Next up Mirage, B-bomb site. Again very easy strafe jump that could nicely surprise your enemies. Also it looks cool. It isn't that practical, but if enemy is holding deep passive angle from B apps, you could passively surprise him, he will think you jump down, but you're actually jumping to the window and popping up in the B apps. Just try it. Cool easy jump, but better don't use it in your most important matches. It just isn't the most useful one out here. Again Mirage, I mostly try to show fresh ideas in my videos, this is far from fresh, but this is just a very very useful jump and a real must learn for everyone who often wants to play Mirage. So from the window room you can make a jump shortcut and climb up to the ladder room. It's actually very easy, just make sure you run on the very edge here and then jump on the box like this. Just practice it a little and you get the right feeling to make it 100% of the times. Super general. So next time when you are retaking B and you want to go to the short, don't act like you are the new Mo Farah. 
rather just shortcut it like this. You will profit time and stamina. Easy as that. Tetas 2. Another very easy jump, hashtag basics. You should know that when you are coming from mid doors, you can jump shortcut onto the Xbox from here. But if you are coming from the lower tunnels, you could win some extra time and jump right on the first edge here. Then do the next jump and you are on the Xbox, ready to go to the short for example. Very easy jump, everyone can do it and it actually saves you some time, so it definitely has some practical use for your games. And the last idea for this video comes from the nuke. Ramp. If you are tired of this behind the box angle, you can easily jump on the box. There are different ways to do it, for example you could make it with a b-hop. The safest way is the hardest one, it's definitely doable, I just can't make it right now and it's not that easy from here. But from the other railing it's a very easy jump. Anyways I hope you like those easy jumps. If you are here first time, there are tons of interesting ideas out on my channel. Make sure to browse around. We will see you in the next one and thanks for watching. Now it's the best time to click on the next video.